Hello, I'm Jason Lancaster, Customer Care Representative for PrintFleet, and today I'm going to show you how to create and use our Supply Level Alert to manage your print environments. When it comes to remotely monitoring multiple print environments, one of the most powerful tools at your disposal is PrintFleet's Alerts feature. PrintFleet's Alerts feature allows you to use PrintFleet to your advantage, giving you the ability to monitor your devices for current or potential problems and to be notified as soon as they occur. With PrintFleet's Alerts feature, you have the ability to monitor and to be alerted when a supply level reaches or falls below a specified percentage value. With this type of alert, you have the ability to proactively monitor the various supply levels of all your devices and to develop your own just-in-time supply fulfillment program. Alerts are not set up from the get-go, so if you're new to PrintFleet or you've never used alerts before, you will need to click on the Alerts button or tab from the PrintFleet home screen. In the Alerts section of the software, you can create your own supply level alerts by clicking on the Create Alert Definition button, which will then open the Create Edit Alert Definition page. Creating an alert definition will determine what pr devices or printer DCAs to monitor, what isu issues or conditions you want to check for, and what PrintFleet will do if that alert, alert condition is true. As we are creating a supply level alert, the first step will be to select the Add Condition Type drop-down menu. From this drop-down menu, you can see the six condition types that PrintFleet can monitor, so select Supply Level to begin creating your alert. Selecting the Supply Level condition type automatically creates conditions for the four most common toner colors, with a threshold of 10% for each toner type. The threshold refers to the level at which a specific supply is at or below that would activate the Supply Level Alert. Using the default settings as an example, the supply level alert conditions will be met and a notification will be generated when any of the toner colors reach 10% or lower. You'll also notice that the default settings has the use same value for all thresholds checkbox selected, which means that changing the threshold on any supply will change the value for the remaining supplies. The default settings can be removed and edited as you like, or you can add additional supplies by clicking the Add Supply button. The supplies you can monitor will vary between different models and manufacturers. For example, a color-capable device will have colored toner supplies a mono device will not. The names used to report supply levels will also vary between models and manufacturers, so to be sure which supplies PrintFleet can monitor for a given device, check out the Device Detail page for your device and any of the supply names listed in the Supplies tab can be entered in a supply alert. As different manufacturers may have different supply names for a supply such as a waste toner kit, you can also save time by using the wildcard method instead of adding each variation of waste toner to capture all of the manufacturer's waste toner kits. If you include, include an asterisk before the word waste for example, it will act as a wildcard, which matches any supply name that starts with the word waste. Alternatively, if you were added an asterisk at the start and end of the word waste, it will match any supply with the word waste anywhere in the name. Now that we have our supplies that we want to monitor listed in our supply level alert, it is time to set up the rest of the alert. In the alert definition area, we will need to enter a name for the alert. Once you've chosen a name, the next step will be to choose which group you would like the alert to apply to, which can be done by clicking on the group drop down list. Selecting root group will assign the alert to every group and device you monitor, while selecting an individual group will only assign the alert to that group and its respective devices. As our alert only consists of the four standard toner types and a wildcard matching with waste, this alert will be applied to the root group. After selecting your group, you have the option to open up the Advanced Security tab by clicking the checkbox beside Use Advanced Security. The Advanced Security tab gives you the option to include or exclude specific devices within the group hierarchy you selected. Click on any one of the groups uh, listed and a list with every device within that group will be displayed. From here, all you need to do is select which devices you want to monitor or just close the tab and click on the Notifications tab. The Notifications tab is where you have the option to specify what you want PrintFleet to do when the alert conditions are met. To add an email notification, click on the Add Email button. In the text box beside Email, input the email address you would like the alert notification sent to. The subject box allows you to specify what you would like the subject line of the email notification to include. If you hover over the uh, icon to the right of the subject box, you will see the, the tokens which you can utilize in your subject line. Tokens are placeholders that you can include in your alert definition that will be replaced with actual values once the alert is triggered. For example, as we are running this alert against the root group, using the alert name and group name tokens in your subject line will automatically display the exact alert name and the specific group name associated with the device that the alert is reporting on. 
The final steps in setting up your supply level alert will be to determine if you want any headers or footers in the alert email, and then to decide who you want your alert notifications sent. The checkbox beside Trigger On is automatically selected, which means that the alert notification will be sent when the conditions are met. You also have the option to select the Event End option as well, which will send a notification once the alert conditions are no longer active. For example, with a supply level alert, this can be used to be notified when a customer has changed the to low toner that you were monitoring with the supply you sent as a result of being notified that the customer's device was low on ink. The final step before your alert is active in monitoring your fleet of printers will be to click the Save Definition button. Now that your alert is created and actively monitoring the supplies of your devices, you will be notified when any of your customers' devices are running low on supplies.